What's going on guys? This is David here. And yes, this is the moment we've all been waiting for for eight months. Told you guys I would be back when something awesome happened. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 9.2 through 9.3.2, fully untethered, kind of. guys so let's go ahead and get started so if we actually go to en.pangu.io you guys will actually see that it says jailbreak or not jailbreak that is not the question anymore and it says coming soon now the weird part about this is if you keep going down it says the supported devices it talks all about the jailbreak that's coming soon but what you guys might not know from looking at this is if we actually go to the chinese version of the site we can actually go ahead and get the jailbreak right now from the Chinese version of the tool. So this only works on Windows as of right now. This does not work on Mac. Um, it comes with kind of like a Chinese guide. You can translate that page to English and follow along if you want to. But this video tutorial I'm creating so that you guys get a little bit more of an understanding of what to actually do. So scroll all the way back down and then you guys can see there's a green little button there. So we wanna go ahead and click on that. Now, in the process of actually doing this, I got an error um, after I finished installing the first tool. It said something like, you know, it couldn't open, it was broken, something like that. Uh, if that happens for you, just keep trying to download it. I downloaded it again another time. So before we get further into this tutorial, I just wanted to go back and say one thing. Now, normally what I advise everybody to do, and I was telling everybody to do this on Twitter, and then I figured this out the hard way, is... Just go ahead and make a backup of your device before we start the jailbreak and then restore completely set up as a new device and then jailbreak and then apply the backup after you're done jailbreaking. Now normally that actually works but what actually ended up happening was for some reason because I guess it works through certificates as you'll see soon you'll actually if there's a pop-up that comes up sometimes it comes up sometimes it doesn't if it does you'll have to enter it in uh, if a pop-up comes up asking for your Apple ID you're gonna have to actually enter that in so that it can verify the certificates and all of that and if you actually do that and you use your Apple ID that you normally would use um, you put all that information in when you go ahead and restore from the backup it actually undoes that certificate that it installed and then nothing will work so you'll actually have to go throughout this entire process again so that's why I'm just explaining do not do what I normally detail in every single jailbreak tutorial even though I thought that you know it's the best way normally it's the safest and the best way to go about jailbreaking because then you don't have to worry about any of that other stuff happening but now this actually will mess up your device so please 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 if you want to actually you know have all your stuff um, don't actually fresh restore don't try that uh, because you will have to end up actually going and doing it again so please just stay where you are um, do everything that you would normally do and you should be good to go all right guys, so what we wanna do now is right click and then select run as administrator. And that now what we're gonna do is press continue. And then it'll actually open up the tool. Now, again, I wanted to say this tutorial is going to be kind of confusing. This jailbreak is kind of confusing, so please bear with me while I try to explain this to you guys. Um, so here it asks us to actually plug in our device. Now, a lot of people on Twitter were telling me you don't need iTunes. Some people were saying you do need iTunes. So I would just install it if you don't have it installed already just to make sure um, so it installs the proper drivers. But go ahead and plug in your device. And for me, for whatever reason, for a long time, it was not actually uh, recognizing the device. So what I actually had to do is, and I didn't even realize this until I went on Periscope and somebody on my Periscope live stream told me this, so thank you to whoever it was. I don't remember the user who it was, but what I actually had to end up doing is I had to go ahead and close out of the tool and then close out of it from the taskbar, and I didn't even realize the taskbar was actually open. So if this is happening for you and iTunes is recognizing your device, but the tool isn't, you're gonna have to actually close the tool from your taskbar and close out of the tool, close out of everything, and then go ahead and open it back up and hopefully then it will actually make a difference. 
All right, guys, so as you guys can see, I did reopen the tool, and now it's working. It says 9.2 through 9.3.3, so we can go ahead and press on that big green bar, and now you guys can see, I'm not sure what that says in Chinese, probably says something pertaining to the to you know jailbreaking the device, obviously, uh, but we don't know just because if you don't read Chinese, obviously you're not going to know what that means, but we actually should get a pop-up soon saying that we need to put in our Apple ID, username and password. Now, some for some people, it was you know prompting us to do this. For me, it was prompting us to do this, but first we have to actually enter in this CAPTCHA. So it's N-F-E-T, so we're actually gonna, going to uh, enter that in. So that will actually pop up first. Um, so what will happen after that is if you're, you know, like in my case, it'll pop up asking for your Apple ID, username, and password. So you're actually going to have to put that in. If it does pop up, you're going to have to actually put in the one um, that's actually yours because in order to actually sideload the app that needs to be installed in order to jailbreak, and later on if you reboot in order to fix the, you know, city of crashing error, it actually needs your Apple ID to sideload that. So if not, if it doesn't pop up, you're fine. That just means that it decided that it's gonna use its own certificate to validate it. So either way works. If you have that pop up, put in your correct information because it will actually work that way if you do. I know a few times over, it might actually give you an error, but just keep doing it and it should work eventually. So as I normally like to do, I normally like to show you guys some errors that happen when I'm recording. So this was one of them. Um, after I actually put in my Apple ID, username, and password, I got this error, and I kept getting this error over and over again. Couldn't figure out what was going on. So if you're getting this error too, please try to do it again. Restart the tool, restart everything, and you know try to enter your Apple ID, and again, do it as many times as you can. Just keep doing it over and over again and eventually it will work. Now, I wanted to preface this also by saying, I completely forgot to say this, um, this jailbreak as of right now only works with 64-bit devices. So if you have anything pre-iPhone 5S, um, unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to use this as of right now. So sorry guys, I know it sucks. Um, I wish it supported all devices 64 and 32, but for now it only supports 64-bit devices. So eventually guys, it will actually work and that's why I keep telling you guys just keep trying because eventually, like I said, it will work. So once it does work, it will give you like a little, I guess, computer with a happy face. It looks kind of funny, um, but once again, here it is. Um, and so now we can actually go ahead and go into settings, general, and then we can go into device management, and then you will see that you have a profile for your device. Now, if we tap on that, you guys can see that we can trust our Apple ID, and then once we trust our Apple ID, we can verify that Pangu app right there, and that's the Pangu app that we can actually uh, go in and finish the rest of the jailbreak. So now what we do is we can go in and actually tap on the app itself. We can also tap on that green button there on the tool and it's just gonna bring us right back to device management and tell us what to do from there. But I've already been telling you guys on what to do. So now what you wanna do is go ahead and tap to open this Pangu app that's on our device. So now it's gonna ask if we want notifications. So go ahead and press okay on that so now and i didn't figure this out until very late on now what you have to actually do is tap on that circle right there the circle that you see on your screen right now tap in that circle and then lock your device so we're actually gonna go ahead and cut to later on where i actually figured that out because i wasn't reading along with a guy that was on uh, reddit at the time and then i figured it out and then um, I actually showed you guys what I was doing. So you want to make sure you tap on that circle and lock it. So I'm going to do that right now. So here's the notification. I actually kind of forgot, but I didn't show you guys. I didn't actually record it. I was live streaming and I didn't actually record the part where I tapped the circle and then locked the device because somebody actually told me to do that on the stream to fix it. And of course, at the time I wasn't recording and because of that, I couldn't really show you guys how to actually go about doing that, but there's a notification and we can actually slide to view. And then once we slide to view, we can go into it and it will automatically reboot our device. So we're gonna go ahead and just do that, but I'm gonna show you guys that all you have to do is just 
tap on the screen, then lock your device. It's as simple as that. I didn't realize how simple it was when I was doing the actual tutorial, when I was recording it, I couldn't figure it out. Then I finally figured out how simple and easy it is to do. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys what happens after that. So now what we could do is we could slide to view the notification and that'll actually go in inside of the app. And then it'll show you guys that Cydia is installing and then we should actually get the Apple logo very soon. So just wait patiently. Um, I guess we could lock our device again and then boom, there you go, Apple logo. Did you miss it? That went pretty fast. Slide to unlock, swipe over. There are the three different apps we need. The Cydia app, which of course we can tap on, and there is Cydia. So there is Cydia fully working on iOS 9.3.3, Cydia 1.1.27. Now you guys might be wondering, well, what's gonna happen since this is semi-tethered, since this isn't fully untethered, what's gonna happen if I actually go ahead and reboot my device? Well, what's actually gonna happen is Cydia is going to crash out. So we can go ahead and unplug our device from the computer. We don't need that right now. Computer's done. We don't need our crappy PC anymore that I had to use because my VM wasn't working, um, which by the way, I actually didn't mention that. Um, this is like my family PC. It's like my parents' PC and it barely works at all and we never use it like i actually forgot for the longest time that we actually had this so i kind of you know had to do this because that was the only way it was working because mac os sierra doesn't like um you know the vm that i use so whatever it is what it is but yeah we're going to wait until this finishes up and until we see all the packages so i'll be back soon so here are the packages and then we could just keep scrolling down if we want we get all the default repos we are on iOS 9.3.3, but this jailbreak is a little weird. It's a little different. It's 64-bit devices only, and it is semi-tethered. So this is really different from what we normally get. Now, will it be a semi-tethered jailbreak when Pangu releases theirs and it's an English jailbreak? Probably. Will it be you know, forever like this? Maybe in the future they'll come out with an untethered package. Who knows, we'll see what happens. But for now, this is semi-tethered, which means you're actually going to have to uh, open that app if you reboot your device. So do not delete the apps besides Cydia that actually came with the jailbreak because then you won't actually be able to make Cydia function as normal after you reboot. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys what happens when you do reboot and why you actually need this app. So right now, it's not telling us that we you know, need to repatch Cydia or anything. I don't know what that means, it's all in Chinese. I was trying to figure out what that could mean, but right now we're gonna go ahead and reboot and show you guys what happens. So the best part about this is we don't need our computer. So we can go ahead and just completely close it and just move it over to the side. And now we're going to actually hard reset I'm gonna show you guys what happens when it comes back up. You guys will be able to see, here's the Apple logo. We're gonna let it sit there for a little while. And you guys will see, this is not untethered, unfortunately. It is kind of untethered because we don't need a computer to uh, boot back into the jailbroken state. So that's why I said it's untethered, kind of. It's really not, but we don't need the computer to actually do this. So here you guys go, open up Cydia, it crashes. So now we actually have to go into this app. All we have to do is tap on the circle, which you guys are gonna see me do, lock our device, and now it is going to actually reboot. There you go. So it rebooted, it's gonna reboot, it's gonna keep rebooting. There we go, it finished rebooting. We're gonna slide to unlock, swipe over, tap on Cydia. There you go, it's loaded up, it works. So that's how to actually fix it. If it's crashing, if it's giving you that, that's because you most likely your phone died or you rebooted or whatever. But make sure you do not, do not, and I repeat, do not delete this app. Do not delete it because if you delete it, then you will not actually be able to open up Cydia if you reboot or if your phone dies or whatever the case is. You're gonna need to read jailbreak. So just make sure that I you actually was really starting to get app. doom and gloom on Twitter. I really did not think we were going to see a new iOS 9 jailbreak anytime soon. I just thought it wasn't gonna happen. And I was just completely blown away when I was getting notifications like crazy. Uh, at first I saw a notification come in from Pangu and then I got flooded with tweets on my timeline saying that this is out and then I got flooded by texts 
with Andy letting us know. My other friend, Ultimate Eye Device Vids, you guys can check him out. I'll throw his channel in the description. He'll probably have a video out soon as well. But um, <laughs> we got a uh, text from him letting us know that it's out as always. He loves to do that, uh, loves to spam us with text. So I got completely spammed on my phone. I was like, this is crazy. Finally, after eight months of waiting, we finally have a jailbreak for all of the latest versions. So again, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back shortly to show you guys some top new tweaks, some top new free tweaks that actually work with iOS 9.2 through 9.3.3. I'm so excited that we finally have a fully updated and fully working jailbreak. Now this is Windows only. Hopefully it gets released for you know Mac soon. And hopefully we also get the English tool as well soon. I will be back when the English tool drops. I will make a separate tutorial and hopefully as well with the Mac. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, this is David signing out. Peace. Man, did it feel good to say that again.